It doesn't want to. So we have an issue. We have an issue with the format of the date. One that I'm not sure how to fix quickly. So what I'm going to do is defer that. But I've identified a problem in the original data that we need to deal with. Maybe it's, it's a marginal problem. Maybe if we, if we, if we select the file and take this option, you will all pull to the margin. It's not a matter of whether it's left or right. It's a matter of the data type. We can try it. Insert a column. Control Shift. Control Shift End. No. I'm revealing my ignorance of Excel, of which I am quite proud. <laughs> Oops. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Edit. I can't undo it. Okay, here. Copy all that. Edit, paste special. Values only. And do nothing else. Try that again because I'm making a mess. Copy, to extract edit, the text date from paste special code values. So it's done the same thing with the paste special. OK, so what I will do, because I believe it will work, is this. I will get rid of this column because it was one I created and don't need. I will format this entire column as text. And then I have numbers, right? Access will see them as numbers. Yeah, and it can deal with them later. I will deal with them later. Can I do that by yeah, highlighting a, all the data and pasting it into a column? I think so. I think you're right. Edit undo. We have a panel of experts in the audience. Let me make a new file. Okay, those all look like dates. And then I format the cells to be text. And then I paste. And I have dates. Woohoo! Yay, team. Okay, now I'll close this, save it. I'll go back to access and look at that collection one again. Huzzah! We have dates. So now I believe that the, all the data in this table are in fine form. Now, we might have to do the same for collection two. Let's have a look at it. Collection date here has a different format, but at least none of them are misunderstood. Now you told me that these two spreadsheets, collection one and collection two, have the same structure, same field names. Yes. Okay, if that's true, we should be able to put those tables together directly, combine them as one. As one table? Yeah. Sure. Should we do that? So what I will do is I'll copy the structure and put it into 
plant, label, same name. And I'll copy only, no, I'll copy the structure and the data from the original. So now I have a new table, and there are the data. Now this is a table in access. This is not your original spreadsheet linked in access anymore. Okay? We have a copy. So we're not going to harm the original. Now, what I want to do is add all of the data from the collection 2 to the same table to combine the two. I'll do that by executing a query that takes all the data from one of them. and appends it to the other one. And I'll run that query. And it tells me the, it couldn't be done because there's an unknown field name, add call num. So there isn't exactly a correspondence between the field names in the two databases. Something's not exactly the same. Add collection number. Add collection number. Okay. So, we need to find out what the difference is between these two. So, I'm looking at the structure of collection two. It has add call number. Okay, it's in this one. Yes. But, apparently it's not in this one. Let's look at the list of fields. It's just called add call. Add call. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Databases are very particular. Okay. But that's okay. Let's call this one add call num and it should work. We hope okay. it will work. Mm -hmm. It's okay? No, but, 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 but we cannot put it add, add, collect, um, 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 uh, add collector number. It should be add collector. We should move the number with the second one. The Remove right it from the other one? Yeah, the right thing is add call. Okay. That is, that is right. Okay. That's additional collectors. I'm happy with that. Yes. However, since I don't want to modify your original Excel spreadsheet, mm -hmm. I'll do a trick. Okay. I'll change this one to add call number. Mm -hmm. I'll append the other one. Okay. Then I'll change this back to add call. Okay. Okay. Okay, I've changed the structure. I need to add this table again. See if we can append them now. Nope, something else is not the same. Collection date. So, let's look here. Collection date is in here, that's fine. In the other one, it is collection date with a space in between. Do you mind if I change that one? <laughs> How many more are there like this, Moses? <laughs> well, in anticipation that there might be more, I'm going to look at both of them side by side and make all the changes in advance. Okay. So here we are. One and the other. So we have family, genus, species, author, collector, number, ad call num, collection date, debt num, space, by, description, mage, area, mine, area, gazetteer, locality, habitat, Habitat? Yeah, it's down here. And duplicate. And over here we have duplicates. So I'll change that to duplicate. Okay, that should all work now. Let's see if we can do it. Show table. You have your fingers crossed, right? <laughs> yeah. Me too. 
You're about to append 139 records. Woohoo! We have a table combined from one and two. Let's go look. Yeah, a total of 278 records. Okay. And we probably, if we were being very careful, would go through here and see, did it all really go to the right places? Looks like it, just with a quick view. Now I promised you that I would change the file or the field names. So you want add call right there. You want anything else changed? We're free to do whatever we want now. No, it's fine. That's fine, okay. Okay, we're done with that. We've combined those two. And yeah, and since we've done that, we don't really need the links to the Excel spreadsheets anymore. I can let those go away. Okay, okay? we're done with that part. So just to simplify things, I'm going to disconnect them. Uh, do you want to remove link? Yes, I do. Do you want to delete the table and empty the clipboard? Yes. Okay, so we've taken care of two of the spreadsheets that you talked about. Those are the ones where you had your own collection data. Yeah. Now we have the data from the combined yours and literature. Mm -hmm. Should we try to incorporate those as well? Yeah. Those are gonna be a different structure, I imagine. Right? Uh, no, no, this same structure? This same. Let's find out exactly how much the same <laughs> this structure is. Okay, here's the one we're trying to put it into. And here's the one we're trying to put in. Oops. Okay, that doesn't look the same to me. Not at all. So we have quite a bit of work to, to combine these two. Yeah. So in this case, what do we do? So in this case, <laughs> We yeah. throw up our hands and say, forget it. <laughs> what do we do? What we do is we, com we create a table mm -hmm. that combines the fields from both, a superset okay. of both. Okay. So we need to identify what from here does not exist over there. And we, move. And we add it. Okay. So we're, we already have the table, the destination table open over there on the left. Mm -hmm. We just need to determine what on the right isn't already in there. Okay. So if we look at it quickly here, mm -hmm. looks like institutions is not there. Yes. Status is not there. Yes. Composition is not there. Composition, yeah. It is, good, okay. Collector, yes, is there. Uh -huh. Number, yes. Add, Add call, family, genus. Species. Species, Species. author, all there. Call DD, uh -huh. not there. 